What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka C Joe Life, back in the video. I know I had promised y'all a 4th of July video, but long story short, things don't always go as planned, and I wasn't able to go to the river and do what I had planned to do. But we were back at it again. Haven't posted in two weeks. Um, I was on vacation the past two weeks, and now I'm back. So hopefully, y'all have had a great two weeks, and I've been gone. The views are rising, that's great. Um, just a heads up, we have three more episodes left of season one. And I will kind of send that to y'all. And uh, in, in not next, not this video, but not in two videos from from this video. So, you'll kind of send that later on. But uh, this video is going to be my thoughts on the 25th ESPYs. Um, this is video is kind of late. Uh, I wasn't I able to vlog um, when, when this when it came on originally. Um, I was in Alabama, and out of the respect of the person I was going that was at their home, and they asked me not to vlog in their house, so I had to respect that and not vlog. So um, this is a little late. Apologize for that, but I wanted to uh, wanted to kind of um, do this. As far as possible, and um, this video is probably going to be as well. Um, just kind of, kind of my thoughts on the ESPYs. Um, first little bit of the ESPYs uh, were pretty funny. Peyton Manning had some jokes. Um, if you saw it, if you've been following on Instagram, he, he hit a few jokes, and uh, that was pretty funny. And then, um, uh, and then, uh, and then, there are two stories on here that, that are very, in, that inspired me very much, um, one is about, the, is about this army sergeant, which I'm just going to do the story, and kind, and kind of fast forward where he's doing, where he gets the award, and then this other, uh, kid who's gone through a lot, and they got, I, I, I'll show you, show, you, show you that as well, but, um, the SPs were just very funny, um, if you watched the ESPYs, the Aflat Duck was there, and it was just, it, it, it was a very, very funny, uh, ESPYs, um, 25th of the ESPYs, just, I wanted to do this 25th, because it's an anniversary, as y'all probably know, um, but, uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the first story that I thought was very inspirational, um, he was a, he is a war veteran, um, and uh, I'll just show you the story. Um, but, but what I am gonna say though is, is be grateful for the, all y'all that have, like, like that you're able to do what you do every day. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, here we go. A minute later, he texted back, "Blowing up is probably not the best phrase to use in this situation." I went too far. Hold on. You, you probably need to check it on. All right, here we go. Recipients. The DT crushed it. And as he came back to his seat, the Medal of Honor awardees on their feet, tears in their eyes. DT looked me in the eye and he said three simple words. Beer me, bro. Master Sergeant Israel Del Toro Jr. is a soldier who has gone through pain and struggle, you would He's not... He's talking about what he did, and I'm going to show you the story real fast, so if it's not too long, I'm going to show you real fast. Here, here we go. Master Sergeant Israel Del Toro joined the Air Force in 1997. He became a parachutist, jumping out of planes all over the world. But 12 years ago, his life changed forever while on the ground in Afghanistan when his Humvee rolled over a roadside bomb. I feel this intense heat blast on the left side. And I'm thinking, holy crap, we just got hit. When I got out of the truck, I was on fire from head to toe. People talk about the light flashing in front of them. And when I did get hit, images came to my head. You know, me and my wife were finally going to get married by the church. I was going to teach my boy how to play baseball. In these pictures, he seemed like a normal guy, right? Seems so normal. Things seem great. We're, we're not ID. I was gonna bring my this, this, this right here. This is what happens to me. To my son especially. Right. But that something clicked. That was December fourth, two thousand five, and I wake up March. That's what happened when you hit an IED, y'all. So he be blessed. Three burns over eighty percent of his body, and was given a fifteen percent chance to live. 
He went through a lot, y'all. Day one. Less than three months later, DT walked out of the hospital, starting what he saw as a new mission to get back to the military. I wouldn't just go to therapy and then go home and just sit on my butt. I'll go to therapy, I'll hit the gym, I'll go for a run. If they say I couldn't run, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go show you. I wanted to show. That's the first story for the, that thought was very inspiring. Um, I just, I know. When, when, when those images were, were, were pretty graphic. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all that through anything, this this guy seemed like a per normal person. Everything was going great. And one bad day at work. And that. He's a, he, 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 he's a real hero. A lot of people come back with, and, and people, the, the family, you know, leaves them because of this one one time one time where people just don't see it in the road you know these 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 icy people whatever the IEDs in the ground this happens so I need to be very very like um blessed and thankful for what you have like you are blessed and you know that um and it, it, it's just cool to see that you know um that story because it shows y'all that should should be anyway that through all the BS that you you know deal with school or whatever you can do but anything you want you put, you put your mind to and it just as closely that really is um and then the other story was thought was really cool which was, was just right here now this kid this kid is out that guy with the army, the army sergeant, and then this right here. Th this kid has been through so much. You know, you're about to see why in a minute. But he inspires me as much as the army sergeant does. But this kid a little bit more because of what he he's been through. And I'm trying to see this story real fast. Um, very great story. And then I will do my final thoughts in the end in the ending of this. But this was. This is kind of what I'm going to go with, like, the final part of this vlog. Here we go. Legacy, it is the very identity of this show. Since 1993, ESPN has raised more than $31 million for the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Here we go. All right. Bristol Myers Squibb is a proud supporter of the V Foundation. Fast forward to uh, the story. Where it is. Here we go. Now, if you're a sports fan, and judging by the room, a few of you are, you might recognize the kid in the pictures behind me because he's almost a regular on the circuit. He's on the sidelines with the New Orleans Saints. He's at NBA All Star Weekend. And of course, I know him from WWE events. He is a 15 year old kid having the. My age, y'all. My age. The truth is, it is happy as Jarius J.J. Robertson looked in these pictures. He was at all these places, quietly knowing that any of these days could be his last. For Jarius' entire life, he and his family have been fighting his deadly disease on their own. He would never know how hard that fight has been. The whole world sees us saving lives. Not knowing that we're coming home that hour like me. That, that's his dad, y'all. Cold is the water. It freezes your already cold mind. Already cold, cold mind. I had Jerry's when I was in high school. Me and his mother, we was at the prom. And we got a call that night stating that he was running a high fever, that he needed to get to the hospital. They told us that he had biliary extrusion. And he was going to need a liver transplant. Jarius Robertson would get his liver transplant in 2002, but surgical complications. Here I was born. His family did whatever was necessary to stay at his bedside. Barely able to make ends meet, after a year passed, they made the decision to take him off a ventilator. Expecting. Now, this part right here is amazing. You would think. You would think 
it, he, he would die, right? Here's what, here's what happens. When he took the breathing machine off of him, he started breathing and fighting. The doctor was shocked. Everybody was shocked. And that was a sign of life saying that this kid gonna fight. And this kid had been fighting ever, ever since. But the new liver started to fail. And so began the long process of getting him another liver. He'd have to wait years to climb up the transplant list as his condition worsened. JJ has been in the hospital. I, I can't even know the number of times that he's been admitted. His growth was failing. He had these bleeding episodes that were life-threatening. And he had a multitude of symptoms that were associated with his liver not working. It would be so bad where it can be 2 o'clock in the morning and he would just wake up screaming, like, in just in excruciating pain. The pain feel like your mind kicking me in my belly. So, like... Now watch it right here. Watch this. As a mother, it's hard. It's, it was hard. Hold on. Watch this. Watching him struggle. Some nights I would just cry because he would cry. And I couldn't help the pain. All those pills, y'all. All those pills for for his liver, for the pain pills for his liver. All those pills. All those pills. Y'all have it great. This kid has been through so much. So there, if there are days where you're like, crap, I'm having a bad day. Crap, I, you know, I have it so bad. This kid, my age, 15 years old. But through hell and back, and still fighting. And the morphine wouldn't help the pain. You wish that you can just take the pain away, but you can't do nothing about that. I'm not going to sit here and wait on the hospital, wait on the doctor to provide us with a little. We're going to go out and get it out, so. Jerry has made promoting organ donation his life's mission. Along the way, the New Orleans native met some saints. <laughs> Soon after, some of his other heroes. My man. But Jarius was always the brightest light in the room. Even as his irresistible personality hid just how close to death he really was. We did a number of events where once it's all over with, he would crawl in the back seat and say, Daddy, give me my pain medicine. And I'm like, you was hurting? Jake, tell us if you're hurting. Daddy, I'm not worrying about it. I got this. Let me do what I'm doing. Inspire so many people. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Even through pain, y'all, he's still staying positive. Still staying positive. <laughs> it has given him a huge purpose, and he knows that he's making a difference. Finally, this past April 30th, after 13 years of waiting, Jarius received another child's liver. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for one time. He's still working to recover and still continuing to spread the word on organ donation. Continuing the fight. And now. This kid's been through a lot. Now, I'm going to pass over real fast to what he says on the stage, which is so funny. Um, but, uh, this kid has been through so much. And y'all just need to stay positive through good and bad. Um, even though things might be hard and out at home, uh, and if they're going through a lot, just keep positive because this kid is my age, 15, and is fighting every day to keep living. All the pills I just showed y'all, he's still fighting. So, what he said, I'm gonna stay real fast, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my outro. This young man is here tonight with his parents, Jordy and Patricia. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's recipient of the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance. This young man is what Never Give Up is all about. He really he is. is. All right, y'all. So. <laughs> give up. Don't ever give up. These words by Jimmy V, I have been living my, by my entire life. The past few years have been a blessing for me and my family. I have been doing things I never thought I could do before. And earning the Jimmy V Award tonight is amazing. I want to thank the Who That Nation. Yeah. 
Now, I might be wrong, on, on, but I heard that he was 15, but he, he was a little small for 15, so if y'all hear something else and, and y'all want to like, comment below like what the age was, I might be wrong, but uh, I heard 15. That m m Maybe who he got the origins from, I'm not really sure, but uh, still, either way, his kids, his kids inspire him. And I want to say, Mr. Benson, happy birthday. Sean Brayden and the whole Saints team. And, and Tommy Moore's name. And the whole Saints team. <laughs> but, but for giving me a platform of doing what I could do best, being myself. Hey, Mickey! Me and you got to talk about the contract I need to get again. <laughs> And I want to thank the WWE family, Stephanie McMahon, thank you for making all my dreams come true. She's much nicer than she is on TV, I'm telling you. <laughs> Coach Owens and Jamal and Darius, all them LSU Tigers boys, they got something big coming for them. Yeah. Lastly, and not least, my family. I want to thank them for being by my side and making all the sacrifice for me to get me here where I am now. That's inspiring. If if that isn't inspiring, I'm not sure what is. Those few stories stuck out to me at most. Um, and that was the my 25th, 25th anniversary SB's thoughts. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that tomorrow's video was gonna be probably not as inspiring, but it's gonna be pretty cool. Hope y'all enjoy that. Um, y'all have to wait to see what that is. But um, want to do this real fast. I had, I, had, I just finished watching this, and I'm I'm now I'm 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 now. Vlogging this, we are now at 1657, so I'm, I'm probably about running out of time on my phone to vlog this. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay inspired. Um, and I, I, see, I say that for every vlog, but this, if this didn't keep you inspired, I'm not sure what will. Um, stay positive. That, 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 hopefully that will. Um, never stop striving to be better. And never stop, like, doubting yourself, man. Like, there's so many times where I'm, like, I, I've been, like, down on myself. My friends, Adam, Margo, uh, Madison, all my friends from school have been just, like, hey, you're, 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 you're you know, just, like, pick me up. Because, like, you know, there are days where, I'm, where my mom or, like, my, um, I keep the school been bullying me. And I've just been trying to, like, ignore them. And... I don't know why I, I think I, like I'm vlogging. I started vlogging was kind of just to like forget all that and uh, just to try kind of get out something. You know, I you know I seem happy when I'm vlogging, but sometimes I you know behind the camera it's not a good and dandy. You know, I, I you know I'm, 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 I try to stay positive every day, and uh, you probably aren't very religious, but what helped me the most. Is, the, is, is this book right here, y'all? This book right here. And that, and just meditation, and just talking to my friends and family every day is what keeps me going. And, uh, love y'all. Stay inspired. Stay humble. Peace. See you tomorrow. Peace.